dairy is a big topic, all right? Because when it comes to breakfast, I always associated when I was growing up dairy products of some sort uh, in, with my traditional breakfast. Milk in your cereal, milk in your oatmeal, cream in your coffee, anyone? All right. And if you live in Europe or you travel to Europe on vacation, you'll notice in a hotel that they, you know, for breakfast, they'll usually have a, an area uh, with a glass dome over it where they're actually offering cheese, a couple of slices of cheese. Havarti, anyone? Gouda, anyone? Mozzarella, anyone? All right. And so those are all dairy products. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, and president and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also a New York Times best-selling author of Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself, and Eat to Beat Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Do not disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or seen in this video. Cancer is, uh, is something that's easy to misunderstand. And like, I wanna talk about food, but I mean, from a science perspective, Here's something that most people don't realize. If you boil it down to the simplest possible explanation, cancer is uh, composed of cells that have gone wild. Normal cells aren't doing the same thing they're designed to do. They have a mutation and those mutations allow them to go crazy. You know, it's kind of like kids on spring break, you know, and, and, and they just go, they run around wild. And so they start to um, uh, they're unyoked, they, 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 they grow, they invade, they can spread, they can do all kinds of harmful things and they mess you up, okay? So the question is how often do we get cancer? The answer is probably all the time, including children, all right? And, and all of us are forming cancers invisibly in our body, just like we form pimples. If you saw a pimple on your face in a mirror, you pay attention to it, but you probably are forming pimples on your back and on your butt all the time and you can't see them, so you don't pay any attention. And guess what? Your body takes care of it, makes it go away. Cancer is one of the most formidable diseases marked by the uncontrolled proliferation of abnormal cells that can invade and damage surrounding tissues. As research progresses, there is growing evidence that diet and lifestyle can play a significant role in influencing cancer risk and progression. Dr. Lee highlights that certain plant-based foods possess powerful properties that can help combat cancer by targeting and starving cancer cells. In this video, viewers will discover the four plant-based foods Dr. Lee recommends for their cancer-fighting benefits. For tree nuts uh, or seeds, I suggest you just take a handful with you uh, as a snack during the day. Something you bring to the office, something you're gonna have a bowl to snack on uh, uh, throughout the day if you actually wanna get some protein in. Those are good snacks and, that's a, and eating it them actually are a great way to actually get some extra protein in. And they're a good source of dietary fiber Dietary fiber feeds your gut microbiome, and when that's your good, healthy gut bacteria. And when your gut microbiome is fed, guess what? Lowers inflammation, and that sets you up to actually have more longevity as well. One, soy milk. Frozen jars of this urine, and his boss, his supervisor said, you know, go find something interesting to do with the urine or toss it out. So he went to look for hormones inside the urine, thinking that he was a hormone, he was an endocrinologist. So he was interested in looking at hormones. When he ran the urine underneath this thing called a mass spectrometry, okay, you see these spikes. And he found a spike that didn't belong in the human. And it only came from the soybean. And it was a spike of genistein. So he cut out that spike, which we can do in the lab, and he tested it on blood vessels that would be feeding cancer. It immediately stopped those blood vessels from growing. And so this was to discover that genistein found in plant-based foods like soybeans could actually be anti-androgenic and they could cut off the blood supply feeding cancers. Dr. Lee recommends soy milk because of its powerful health benefits, especially for fighting cancer and promoting heart health. Soy milk is made from soybeans, which contain natural compounds called isoflavones that can help prevent cancer by stopping the growth of blood vessels that cancer cells need to survive. 
This effect was first discovered in studies with Japanese villagers, where people who ate more soy foods had a lower risk of cancer. One major study, called the Shanghai Breast Cancer Survival Study, looked at over 5,000 women who survived breast cancer. It found that women who ate more soy had a 32% lower chance of their cancer coming back and a 29% lower risk of dying from cancer. Soy milk, which contains about 10 grams of soy protein per cup, is an easy way to get these benefits. Soybeans are packed with special nutrients that not only fight cancer, but also help prevent heart disease. These nutrients, genistine, daidzine, and others, can stop the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which reduces the risk of heart problems. Fermented soy products like miso and tempeh contain even higher levels of these beneficial compounds. There's also a widespread myth that soy can increase the risk of breast cancer because it contains plant-based estrogens. However, studies have proven this wrong. In fact, the natural compounds in soy can actually block estrogen from promoting cancer growth. For example, Research from the University of Missouri found that eating soy helps turn on certain genes in the body that suppress tumors. This is particularly helpful for women with BRCA mutations, which increase their risk of cancer. Soy consumption can activate protective genes and provide extra defense against cancer. According to the American Institute for Cancer Research, soy foods do not increase the risk of breast cancer for survivors. In fact, some studies suggest that moderate soy consumption may help improve survival and reduce cancer recurrence in women after a breast cancer diagnosis. Beyond fighting cancer, soy milk also supports weight loss. A study from Tehran University showed that overweight women who drank soy milk instead of cow's milk reduced their waist size significantly. Similarly, research from Malaysia found that people who drank soy milk were 55% less likely to be obese. By adding soy milk to your diet, you can take advantage of its ability to fight cancer, protect your heart, and even help manage your weight all while enjoying a nutritious plant-based beverage. 2. Oat milk. So you might imagine what happens when you actually have avanthamide inside your body. So we're going to talk about that in just one second. Now, beta-D-glucan, the other oat-derived natural bioactive, is known as a soluble fiber. And you've probably already recognized that fibers are good for gut health. But I'll tell you, beta-D-glucan is also found in, for example, mushrooms, also found in barley, also found in rye. So think about rye bread, okay? Um, but beta-glucan is also found in oats, as I mentioned to you. Now, researchers in the lab have found that beta-glucan is super anti-inflammatory. And not only that, beta-D-glucan also lowers cholesterol. So it's good for our blood lipids and it's a source of dietary fiber from oats that actually feeds our gut microbiome. Now, you know, the gut microbiome is the 39 trillion bacteria that live in our body. Most of them are actually inside our gut. They're in the uh, tail end of the gut in the colon. And the part of the colon they live is called the cecum, C-E-C-U-M. It's the same area that the appendix is actually located. In fact, we're beginning to uh, recognize the appendix probably has an air traffic control like function with the gut microbiome. That's an area of research that's being worked on right now. Dr. Lee recommends oat milk because it is rich in nutrients that support overall health and help reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including cancer and heart disease. Oat milk is made from whole oats, which contain a type of fiber called beta glucan. This fiber is known for its ability to strengthen the immune system which is essential for defending the body against cancer. Beta-glucan also helps lower cholesterol levels by binding to cholesterol in the gut and preventing it from being absorbed into the bloodstream, which can reduce the risk of heart disease. In addition to supporting heart health, oats contain compounds with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that can protect cells from damage. This is important because chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are linked to the development of cancer. Dr. Lee highlights the importance of choosing foods that reduce inflammation, and oat milk fits into this category, making it a great plant-based option for those looking to improve their health. Moreover, oat milk is often fortified with essential vitamins and minerals like calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin B12, which are important for bone health, immune function, and energy levels. Unlike many other milk alternatives, oat milk has a creamy texture and mild flavor, making it a versatile choice for everything from smoothies to coffee. A study published in the journal Food Chemistry explored how oat milk might help prevent cancer 
by examining the healthy compounds found in oats. Researchers analyzed the nutritional content of oats and oat milk, focusing on important compounds such as avanenthromides, flavonoids, tocopherols, and beta-glucan. They conducted laboratory tests to measure these compounds and reviewed existing research to understand their health benefits. The findings revealed that oat milk is rich in beneficial substances, particularly avanenthromides, which are known for their ability to reduce inflammation and combat oxidative stress, both of which can contribute to cancer development. The researchers discovered that avanenthromides can inhibit the growth of cancer cells and even trigger their death, suggesting that regular consumption of oat milk may lower the risk of certain cancers. Additionally, the study highlighted the importance of beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber found in oats, which supports gut health and helps maintain a healthy digestive system. A well-functioning gut is crucial, as it may help reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. 3. Rice Milk Tree nuts. Now, in a past video, we talked about the evidence that uh, tree nuts actually um, can be good for um, in a study looking at stage 3 colon cancer, yeah. which is published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. But I can tell you that other studies have similarly found that tree nuts can have tremendous benefits for um, the gut microbiome, which then helps your immune system fight cancer. Dr. Lee recommends rice milk because it is a light, easily digestible plant-based option that can support overall health, especially for people with food allergies or sensitivities. Made from milled rice and water, rice milk is naturally free from dairy, soy, and nuts making it a great alternative for those who need a hypoallergenic milk substitute. Dairy products are beneficial because they are a source of calcium and they're a source of protein, which your body needs, all right? So that's good. Milk, for example, is also fortified by milk producers with vitamin D along with the calcium, and that's required for bone health. So milk's good for bone health because of the vitamin D. While it doesn't have the same protein content as other plant-based milks, Rice milk offers a range of health benefits, particularly when fortified with essential vitamins and minerals like calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin B12. Rice milk contains antioxidants, which are important for protecting cells from damage caused by free radicals. This cellular protection is key in preventing the development of diseases like cancer. Additionally, rice milk is low in saturated fat, which is beneficial for heart health as reducing saturated fat intake helps lower the risk of heart disease. Dr. Lee also points out that rice contains certain bioactive compounds, such as phenolic acids, which have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. These compounds help reduce chronic inflammation, a factor linked to cancer growth. According to a review in Hindawi, rice byproducts, including rice milk, have been explored for their potential health benefits in fighting cancer. The study highlights that these byproducts contain various beneficial compounds, such as vitamin E, phytic acid, and phenolic compounds, which may help prevent cancer. One significant part of the research focused on brewer's rice, a byproduct of rice milling, and its effects on colorectal cancer cells. Researchers found that a water extract from brewer's rice significantly slowed down the growth of colorectal cancer cells while not harming normal cells. This is important because it suggests that rice byproducts could be a safe dietary option for cancer prevention without negatively affecting healthy cells. The study suggests that the positive effects seen might be due to the high levels of these beneficial compounds, which are known for their antioxidant properties that can reduce oxidative stress, a factor often linked to cancer development. The researchers also mention the idea of food synergy, meaning that the combined effects of multiple beneficial compounds in rice byproducts could work together to enhance their cancer-fighting potential. Overall, the study emphasizes the promising role of rice byproduct, including rice milk, in cancer prevention. If you found value in this video so far and appreciate the many hours of effort that went into creating it, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment to support the channel. 4. Almond Milk Tree nuts. What are tree nuts? We're talking about walnuts, pecans, pistachios, uh, almonds, macadamias, even pine nuts, those are all tree nuts. Tree nuts contain dietary fiber. The leafy greens, obviously, the uh, things you find in the uh, grocery store. Dr. Lee recommends almond milk because it is packed with nutrients that help support cancer prevention, heart health, and overall well-being. Almond milk is made from ground almonds and water and is naturally rich in vitamin E, 
a powerful antioxidant known for protecting cells from damage caused by free radicals. This protection is crucial because oxidative damage can lead to the development of cancer and other chronic diseases. By consuming foods rich in vitamin E, such as almond milk, the body is better equipped to fend off harmful cellular changes that could trigger cancer growth. Almond milk is also low in calories and sugar, making it an excellent choice for those looking to maintain a healthy weight, which is key to reducing the risk of many cancers. Maintaining a healthy weight can also improve heart health, and almond milk is naturally cholesterol-free and low in saturated fat, both of which contribute to cardiovascular health. Additionally, almond milk is often fortified with essential nutrients like calcium and vitamin D, which support bone health. Its low glycemic index also means it helps keep blood sugar levels stable, reducing the risk of diabetes, a condition linked to increased cancer risk. According to a review in the Journal of Functional Foods, almond milk, which is a popular plant-based milk alternative, may offer several health benefits, including potential protection against cancer. The research highlights that almond milk, along with other nut and seed milks, is rich in antioxidants. These antioxidants are important because they help reduce the risk of diseases like cancer and heart disease by fighting off harmful substances called free radicals that can cause damage to our cells. Additionally, the review points out that a diet rich in plant-based foods, including almonds, is linked to a lower risk of certain cancers and neurodegenerative diseases. This means that drinking almond milk could be beneficial due to its content of healthy compounds, such as phenolic compounds and good fats, which are known to help protect against cancer. While almond milk may not have as much protein as cow's milk, its rich antioxidant content and the presence of beneficial compounds make it a valuable choice for those looking to support their health and potentially reduce cancer risk.